Bee versus wasp. What happens when these two insects meet? Wasps and honeybees are both members of the Hymenoptera order of insects. Wasps and honeybees can be mistaken for one another because both insects are capable of giving painful stings. While honeybees can attack when provoked, wasps are naturally and more aggressive predators. Honeybees, although one of the most popular bees, represent only a small percent of bee species. Honeybees are the only surviving group of bees from the Apini tribe, which is under the Apis genus. They are known for producing and storing honey, or liquefied sugar, as well as building impressively large nests using wax secreted by workers in a particular colony. Wasps make up an enormously diverse array of insects, with some 30,000 identified species. We are most familiar with those that are wrapped in bright warning colors, ones that buzz angrily about in groups and threaten us with painful stings. But most wasps are actually solitary, non-stinging varieties, and all do far more good for humans by controlling pest insect populations than harm. Size and Description Honeybees measure about 0.6 inches, 15 millimeters long, and are light brown in color. Honeybees are usually oval-shaped creatures with golden yellow colors and brown bands. Although the body color of honeybees varies between species, and some honeybees have predominantly black bodies, almost all honeybees have varying dark to light striations. The brightly colored bodies of the honeybee act as a warning to predators or honey robbers of the honeybee's ability to sting. The antenna's function is to smell and detect odors and to measure flight speed. The mandible is the bee's jaw, which is used in eating pollen, cutting and shaping wax, feeding larvae and the queen, cleaning the hive, grooming and fighting. The size of a wasp depends on the species. For example, an adult paper wasp grows to be 0.6 to 0.78 inches, 16 to 20 millimeters long, and tend to have a brownish coloring with yellow markings, although a few paper wasp species have red markings. While their appearance can vary slightly by species, paper wasps have distinctive long legs unlike bees or yellow jackets that have shorter legs. Wasps have two pairs of wings, the hind wings smaller than the forewings. Their wings are folded longitudinally at rest and the mouth parts are adapted for chewing and licking. Wasps can easily be distinguished from bees because of their pointed body and waist. Range and Habitat Different species of honeybees live in different regions of the world. The dwarf and black dwarf species are both native to Southeast Asia. The giant species lives in both South and Southeast Asia. The eastern species lives throughout southern and southeastern Asia. Kozhevnikov's bee lives in Malaysia and Borneo. The European species is the most common and resides on every continent except for Antarctica. Finally, the Philippine honeybee lives in the Philippines and Indonesia. These insects require habitats with plenty of feeding opportunities nearby, namely flowering plants. Honeybees are also capable of surviving in cold climates and thermoregulate by huddling within the nest. The bees actually shiver to increase the temperature inside the hive. Paper wasps are found on every continent except for Antarctica. In North America, they are most common in the eastern and south-central parts of the United States. Since they are found all around the world, they are called a cosmopolitan genus. Paper wasps are commonly found in woodlands and grasslands. They are active from summer to fall. Paper wasps build nests made of a papery material, hence their names. They are found in temperate and terrestrial habitats. They are found in urban, suburban and rural locations. 
diet. The only nutrition that honeybees receive is nectar and pollen from flowers. Pollen is the only protein source that they consume, and nectar provides water and energy. They collect food by flying to areas with lots of flowers and moving from flower to flower, harvesting nectar and pollen. If they find a new patch of flowers, they return to the nest and show the other bees where to go by dancing. Wasps are omnivores, meaning that they eat all kinds of food. Similar to bees, they prefer sweet foods such as nectar, honey, fruit, tree sap, and human food. However, they also eat almost every pest that harms crops, including grasshoppers, aphids, flies, caterpillars, and even bees, as well as other garden pests, making them invaluable partners in the propagation of fruits and vegetables. Behavior Like some other bee species, honeybees are social and live in colonies, numbering in the thousands. Three types of adult honeybees reside in one colony. The queen, male drones and infertile female workers. However, they do display some aggressive behavior within colonies. Drones are ejected from their nests during cold weather, and a queen will sometimes sting other queens during mating fights for dominance. In each colony, there is only one egg-laying queen, but there are thousands of workers. The queen honeybees mate with drones, establish new colonies, and lay eggs. Social wasps account for only about a thousand species and include formidable colony builders like yellow jackets and hornets. Social wasp colonies are started from scratch each spring by a queen who was fertilized the previous year and survived the winter by hibernating in a warm place. When she emerges, she builds a small nest and rears a starter brood of worker females. By late summer, a colony can have more than 5,000 individuals, all of whom, including the founding queen, die off in winter. Solitary wasps, by far the largest subgroup, do not form colonies. This group includes some of the wasp family's largest members, like cicada killers and the striking blue and orange tarantula hawks, which can both reach 1.5 inches in length, 3.8 centimeters. Whereas social wasps use their stingers only for defense, Stinging solitary wasps rely on their venom to hunt. Now let's find out together what happens when a bee meets a wasp and they have to fight. Who will win? Wasps and bees also differ in lifestyle and habits. While bees may seem like the bigger and scarier of the two insects, it is in fact very common for wasps to kill bees. Early in the year, wasps collect meat and carrion, including dead bees, which they chew and then pass on to feed their larvae in the nest. The protein helps the new bodies to grow, and the larvae in turn excrete a sugary honeydew, which satisfies the wasp's sweet tooth. By the late summer, early autumn, however, the larvae have hatched, and the adult wasps have to get their sugar fix elsewhere, and this is when they start attacking beehives. Wasps such as the bald-faced hornet are particularly lethal to honeybees because they will bite off their heads and abdomen and then fly the thorax back to the wasp nest to feed it to their larvae. Unbeknown to many, wasp larvae are meat eaters and they therefore very much enjoy the bee parts that are supplied to them. But first of all, neither of them will use their stings. My guess when the opponent is too small it basically lacks the mass required for the sting to be used. Jaws are the primary weapons. However, the wasp is better armed. A wasp has a tougher exoskeleton and more powerful jaws. They're also more durable and agile. One on one, my money is, sadly, on the wasp. They have one serious advantage. They can and do sting over and over, while a honeybee is one shot and done. Their stinger tears loose and they eventually die. 
It takes an army of honeybees willing to sacrifice their lives in a group to defeat wasp invaders. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.